It happened at last weekend's Rolling Stones concert in a field north of Barrie, Ontario. Before the Stones took the stage, the crowd got an official welcome from Ontario's Minister of Tourism, Culture and Sport, Lisa McLeod. On the sidelines of the show, McLeod confronted Eugene Melnick, owner of the NHL's Ottawa Senators. According to two Ottawa newspapers, Melnick says the cabinet minister hurled abuse at him, used the F-word twice, called him a loser and a piece of shit. The Premier should ask her not only to resign, but I think she probably needs uh, uh, some time away from caucus. This is Mr. Ford's government. He is the Premier of this province. He needs to make a call on this. And I would say he needs to set the bar a whole lot higher than this. McLeod is not denying the incident happened. This morning on Twitter, the Cabinet Minister said she gave Melnick some feedback and says she apologized for being so blunt. McLeod is a big hockey fan and represents an Ottawa riding. That makes her alleged tirade against the senator's owner a hot topic in the city. The language is a bit excessive um, and maybe shouldn't be coming from a minister. Good for her for saying something. No offense, but I'm not on Team Melnick, that's for sure. In a statement, the Ottawa senators say Melnick stands by his version of what happened. They say Melnick spoke with Premier Doug Ford and was impressed with how Ford handled the situation. McLeod has been one of Ford's most controversial ministers through his first year in power. She faced criticism for her handling of the autism program as Minister of Children, Community and Social Services. Ford demoted her to Tourism, Culture and Sport Minister last month. The brouhaha over McLeod's alleged outburst is just the latest controversy in what have been a rough few months for the Doug Ford government. Today, the Premier's office said it had nothing to add to McLeod's Twitter apology. Mike Crowley, CBC News, Toronto.